Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Now just a quick reminder to let you know there's only five of these left in stock. Welcome to Seansworld.com. Now they're souvenirs that I brought back from the Black Forest, my road trip in Germany. So head on over there if you want to grab these before they go. There's lots of other uh, items there um, regarding my trips, you know, souvenirs that I've purchased. So just check that out for a free blog as well. Right, let's get started on this video. Yes, I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to paint the door. <laughs> I'm not going to paint the stones. Not with this. All the prep work's been done, so what I'm firstly going to do is paint the iron work, let that dry, move on the inside, do the undercoat on the inside, come back out for the outside. Shouldn't take long to dry in this weather. I can't believe you thought I was going to spray the stones. <laughs> oh, there you go, I did spray the stone. <laughs> Soon clean that off. Now it's very important that you use exterior paints obviously on the outside. So these are exterior, so they're up to the job. So now for the inside ironwork, onto the bottom strap. Quick dust off, it had been prepared, but it's a little bit dusty. There we go. Right, let's get a coat of paint on that. So the primer I'm using is suitable for metal and wood, so no need to worry about overspray here. We're experiencing a bit of a heat wave here in France. Uh, it's 34 degrees today, so yeah, it's hot, but the paint is drying very quickly, which is a bonus. So let's get this door undercoated. I had free rain on this colour, so I hope she likes the colour. There's only one way to find out, and let's get it on here. Sometimes it looks a little bit different on the tin, <laughs> especially when you put it onto black. Don't think that's too bad. It 
It's only going to take two coats, I think. So that is nearly the base coat on. So I think I'm going to go for a slightly different colour to this. It needed an initial coat to cover the black anyway, so this is really good paint to, to do that. It's kind of sealed it off now. Satin finish, so not quite sure what colour I'm going to go for for the second coat, but I'm going to take Sam shopping with me and let her pick. That way I'm guaranteed to get it right. <laughs> Definitely preserve them for another few years, that's for sure. So I'm now armed with a paint chart. I've got some preferences that we'd uh, like to try and get as close to as possible. So I'm just going to go to the shops, get some paint, and I'll see you when I get back. Hopefully I'll get the right colour this time. They got 15% off. So what the 15% is, is part of their loyalty scheme um, with the card. They send you through, they post you through a, a paper bag. Now anything you can fit in this paper bag, you get 15% off. It was going to be a little bit cheeky and put something really massive in there, but I might try that next time. <laughs> okay, let's get home, get it on the door. Now, I forwarded this through to Sam with the colour. It's giving me the go ahead, so no turning back now. So I'm on the shady side of the door because the sun really is intense today. 33, 34, up to 35 degrees today, so yeah. Whew. Proving a challenge, but we've got to rise to these challenges. Right, I'll give it a good stir. Let's see what the paint looks like on the door. Now this has had an undercoat. Oh yeah, that's nice paint. That should brighten things up. What a good choice, Sam. She picked the right colour. <laughs> yeah, it's always important when you're using oil paints not to put it on too thick. You're probably better off putting on two thinner coats. I mean, it doesn't matter too much about something like this, but if it was uh, like high quality wood, maybe nib it off a little bit, which means rubbing it down with some wet and dry, and just keying it in and giving it another coat, that way you'll get a really nice finish. Sometimes you can wax the finish as well, I've seen doors done like that. Yeah, really nice. 
in actual fact Sam's mum and dad's house they had a beautiful wooden door painted it in a nice blue colour and then he gave it a lovely wax and it come out never seen anything like it so not that I'm going to do it on here but I may use that on another door somewhere right let's get this coated up happy with the colour now really brighten things up of course this is the open side when the shutters there will be shutters at the moment they're doors but I will have a, a permanent fixture door here double glazed and these will act as shutters then because they're on the outside recess and the door will go on the inside recess so yeah these are perfect for shutters so I'm going to look after them so we spend a lot of time outside so it is important that it looks fresh I mean, it looks inviting you know when you're working hard you want to sit down in an, a nice environment I can't even talk properly <laughs> it's getting so hot <laughs> so we'll get this coated up and then hopefully once I've done the insides of both doors maybe when I move to do the fronts the sun would have gone down a little bit by then but I'm not so sure about that now Sam would be back shortly so it would be interesting to see what she thinks of the paint. I know she chose it and looked at the colour chart and everything like that but sometimes it comes out different once you paint it on. I mean I'm happy with it, it looks very uh, light and bright. She just didn't want it to be too much like grey but I don't think that is, it's quite a bluey kind of colour. I think it's called Cielorage. Look at this cloudy sky. Eyes are blue, aren't they? Well, there's no turning back now, this is it. Of course, you like it. Nice colour. We've got the thumbs up. Right, got to go ahead. Let's get these painted. So, we've got the thumbs up. She likes it, which is good. I thought she would. Get these painted now. It's also very important when you're working out quantities of how much paint you need with the coverage. If your wood is rough like this is, it will take a lot more paint to cover the area. So just factor that in. It's always good to have a little bit over than under. I have primed this so that helps as well. But this is a one coat product. It's actually acrylic. I made a mistake earlier by saying it was oil. Lovely paint by the way, going on really nice and covering well. Here's their Eco um, range from Dulux. While we're on the subject of paint, now uh, as and when I do decide if I'm going to paint the stones, um, it's going to be with the appropriate paint. We're going to be using a company that supplies paints to all listed buildings, national uh, heritage in England and they supply a broad range of um, natural natural paints really, you know, that breathe and uh, so yeah, you know, I wouldn't be using paint like this on the stones or anything like that. I understand that certain stones have to breathe, not all stones do though. There's some granites that um, don't have to breathe. but. We'll decide when we come to that point, but I must admit, the stones are looking a hundred times better. So that might have swayed me a little bit, but it's not set in stone. Who knows, I might paint them. If I do, you'll be the first to know. Or not, I might keep it a secret. <laughs> I don't want to backlash. Now this paint is called Stormy Sky. It looks like we've got one above us as well. So the heat has been increasing for quite some time now. Normally at the end of it we'll get 
fantastic thunderstorm. Just hope it's not today. Now don't forget if you'd like to support me through um, Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon, uh, Welcome to Sean's World, all the funds go straight back into the project and allow me to buy materials and to keep pushing forward with it. So once I gain a little bit more money, uh, we're going to get back into the cottage and we're going to go up into the roof, we're going to do some uh, roof windows. Um, when it comes to the roof on the barn, I've asked so many roofers, I'm not going to ask no more, that's it, I'm done. I've managed to persuade Sam to let me do it myself, so I'm going to get a scaffold in and I'm going to proceed with that before the end of the year. So we've got that coming up as well, so yeah, if you want to support the channel, head on over to buy me a coffee, Patreon or welcome to Sean'sWorld.com. Uh, I've also got an Etsy shop, so anything that I sell on there, um, it allows me to raise the funds just to keep uh, progressing forward. And thank you for all those that have donated, it really does help me. Right, I'm going to get this done. And then a cup of tea and I think I'll check up on them kitties. Would you like to see the kittens? Of course you will. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So let's check on the little kittens. That's all right, dear. They're all very mobile now. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Soon be on solids. Looks like mummy's calling them. cuter by the day. <laughs> right, it's back to work. So that's one side done. That's dried really nice. I'm really impressed with that paint. Satin, so it gives it a nice sheen. Not too shiny. Right now, on to the other side. So the first coat sort of covered the black, if you like, so We've got a good base for that colour now, so let's get this painted. So that was what the paintwork started off like. And then we went down to that stage, the undercoat preparation. And then finally, we ended up with that. Which I think you'll agree, is quite some transformation. It's no longer looking like an abandoned barn. If you never looked up, you'd never know it'd be abandoned, would you? So, let's talk about the roof. Now, I've assured Sam that if I work on it, I will work up there safely. That was one of the criteria that she said to me that I needed to meet. I had to be safe up there, so I'm going to get scaffolding. I've got one scaffold, I'm going to get another one. I said to her I'll put harnesses on and, you know, use all the correct equipment. So she was quite happy for me to go ahead with it. So as soon as I've raised the funds for that, that will be stripped off. I'll do it in sections and yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting that done. Now there's lots of timber work I need to replace up there. Lots of um, rafters and purlins that have broke. Wall plates to the right is probably just as bad as to the left. But nevertheless, it will be a great project. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to go slate again with this. I may, I may use the clay tiles to continue it through. I'm not too concerned really, slate or clay, they would have had either, so not too worried about that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna price it up 
and I'll let you know what I think the figure is going to come in for the materials for this. Now I did speak to our local farmer because as you, well if you're not aware, in the middle floor here it's full of hay and it's about that deep and it's been there years. I'd like to get that out so I can put maybe some stage in and work underneath as well but <clears throat> unfortunately he's not available until December, January because of the season with the harvest and everything so I need a big deep tipper trailer that I can just sort of shovel out the window into that and he'll take it away and dispose of it. So we may have to do that maybe December or January which won't be too bad because it'll be a lot cooler. I don't fancy doing it at the moment, it's going to be quite stifling up there with masks and suits on so probably deal with that maybe later on at the end of the year so we're going to work a lot of the, lot of the time outside on the roof so not an issue. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Right, let's get stuck into the other side now. So you join me on the next day, I ran out of daylight last night and paint but I went through my stocks and I have got a tin that's exactly the same, coincidence or not but anyway, just going to get this side painted just before that sun comes over. And there's the paint pot, it was brand new, never been used so that's handy because I just run out, I've got a little bit more there to do. And that's how the inside of that one's looking. So once I do get a, a proper door on the opening here, most of the time these will be opened back unless it's in the winter. So yes, good progress has been made. So the cleaning and the freshening up of these buildings has been long overdue but you know how it goes in life, it passes you by. But uh, it's been a nice break to you know come away from the um, renovation of the cottage but as most YouTubers will tell you that a lot of the time it's the finances that kind of hold you back on the big projects so sometimes you have to drop back on other things. This was uh, very convenient because we needed it tidied up and it was a little bit cheaper than continuing to work on the cottage. So once the funds pick up for the cottage, I should be back in there. So yeah, sometimes you just have to peg it back a little bit, do something else, get your finances in order and then, uh, you know, extra boost of cash and away you go again. So yeah, so sometimes when you think, oh, why aren't you continuing in the cottage? Sometimes to be br brutally honest, it is the finances, so. But this has been nice for me and hopefully for you, you know, you've seen a bit of painting, a bit of jet washing, some paving. Let's give me a break from it as well. So you, you tend to go back there with a bit more vigour. So yeah, the change is as good as the rest, they say. And who don't like to see paint go on? The transformation. I mean, these are old doors, you know, they're never going to be pristine. But they don't need to be. It's an agricultural building, you know. Uh, you get the idea. You can see it's an old door. It looks a lot nicer. I'm pleased with the colour as well. Certainly refreshes the area. And it makes all the areas that need attention stand out even more. So 
It's kind of like someone said on the comments, a job domino. And I can relate to that. That ain't a bad thing. You get stuff done. I'd also like to say hi to Ukulele Cherry for joining me on my top tier Patreon and everybody else that supported me uh, on the Patreon and buying me a coffee. And of course through watching the videos and watching those adverts. So that is it for now and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.